Hey folks, how you doing? Um, just wanted to do a bit of a video log sort of thing today, a little bit of a discussion video. I don't do many of these. Um, it's something I'd like to do a little bit more of because there's always, there's always Star Wars things on my mind and um, yeah, I really only do these sort of videos if I've got a bit of an update or a haul or something like that. Um, but yeah, I've recently given my room last Saturday I've sort of gone through my room and done a bit of a reshuffle and changed some things around. So um, I'm hopefully going to get my room tour going in the next 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 few weeks. Hopefully, I can have that recorded and, and uh, uploaded. So I'm having a lot of requests for it recently, um, and uh, you can sort of see what I did. I posted a bunch of photos on my personal Facebook as well as my like page, um, which is facebook.com forward slash the force with jesse and i shared a couple on instagram as well which is at the force with jesse so you can go and suss them out there if you haven't if you're on either of those platforms but uh i understand not everyone is so um and yeah i want to go into some good depth of like i do i pretty much do a road tour every year um and i'm pretty sure i do them around february for the last couple at least so that should be up. I definitely want to make sure I'm, I get it up before we head over to America, um, which is pretty much just the main goal at the moment. Um, everything's all good. We've got just about all ready, set to go. Um, uh, they're actually letting us in the country, which is great. But that's that's for another. That's another topic for another time. Um, got all passports and everything. Accommodations booked. Tickets are booked. Um, can't wait for celebration. It's gonna be so good. But yeah, um, I've just picked up a few things the last few days. Um, nothing much. I'll sort of share them quickly. There's a set of trading cards they've released down here for Rogue One. Um, so I picked up the binder folder today. That was 15 bucks. Come with a pack of cards with a limited edition Jin Erso. So. Um, I'm not sure what this set's called. It's a little bit different. We had a different set to everyone else here for Force Awakens as well. So I've got a stack of doubles on that big. So um, yeah, but these, this is a pretty cool set. Um, I don't know if I end up getting them all. I fell just a little bit short of the Force Awakens one. So I'd like to hunt them down at some stage, but um, they're a little bit scarce this time. The Rogue One cards haven't been able to find them as easy as I was um, with the Force Awakens last year. Excuse me. Um, finally got some bags and boards for my sort of loose single issue comics. Um, not all of them. I'm going to have to get some more. I, um, I wasn't going to do all of them because I've got a stack of little, a little stack of Dark Horse ones and I wasn't going to do them. But I think I will and that way I've got a sort of backlog of bags if I decide to pick up any future single issues. So I'm going to get some more. I recently picked up the six uh, issues from The Force Awakens because I've got um, the Adelaide Comic Centre in in the city. They recently had a bit of a sale because they uh, moved. They moved their store. So I managed to get four issues of The Force Awakens comic line for two bucks each. So, And I've just decided to board them up and put them in bags and um, yeah, just keep them really nice. So I've got the full six. Um, six issue run. They only had four at the time, so I've gone back and picked up the other two that I needed. So um, that's not out as a um, tra trade paperback yet either. So only as a hardcover. So I would like to get them at some stage, but I've got got the issues, so that's pretty cool. But apart from that, it's been pretty quiet. Um, I've ordered a couple of figures online, so they should be in hopefully late this week, early next week. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah, last week we found out episode eight title. Um, I've kind of just been letting that sink in for a week. Um, the last Jedi, how cool is that title? I really dig it. Um, it was, I hadn't really thought about it to be honest. I was kind of just waiting. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of thoughts about what it could be and, yeah, there was a rumor that it was going to be like Tales of the Jedi, Tale of the Jedi, something like that, Tale of the Force, and I wasn't entirely thrilled about that whole tale of, so I'm glad they didn't go there. 
Um, the Last Jedi, it's been used in a couple of books before. It's been used in a book and a comic um, from the 80s. Um, the book, I can't remember when that came out. Maybe within the last 10 years, I can't remember, I'm not sure. But, The Last Jedi is cool. That sounds really good. I'm excited. Um, it's ominous. It doesn't give anything away, which is, which is great. Um, is it like, is it Luke? Is it Ray? Is it plural? Who knows? We got no idea. And that's super exciting. Um, there's a lot of talk about the title being red. Um, whether that means anything, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bet that the, the episode nine will have a blue heading. So of yellow, red, blue. I think that'll just, or green, who knows? Who knows? Who really knows? Um, but I think it'll be a different color. I don't think they'll go back to yellow um, and have a red one in the middle. But it sounds cool. Um, I've got a lot to think about. And my main thing is, are we ready for it? Um, these characters that we've had in our lives since The Force Awakens come out. So it's been about 12, 13 months and I guess we knew them a little bit before that in the lead up. Um, and I've, I've been thinking about this and We've got those personalities so ingrained in our heads now, watching The Force Awakens so many times and, you know, getting to know the characters and their story. Um, are we ready to see those characters potentially change? Um, I think that's a really interesting thought because you see the way you look back at the original trilogy and the way Luke develops and Han develops and, you know, it's... There's no doubt that Ray, Finn, and Poe are going to be completely different characters and new characters that are going to change them. Um, and their experiences in episode eight are going to change them. Um, so we're gonna have a completely different pers perspective of these new characters in 12 months time. We'll be sitting here talking about the lead up to episode nine. I have to remember to do a video, put it in my diary. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna have a completely different perspective on these characters and a completely different idea of who they are, where they're going. Um, hopefully we learn more about, you know, Ray's backstory. Um, is there going to be things like a romance developing in episode eight? Um, I think episode seven proved we don't really need it, but um, romance isn't always a necessary thing. If you have those friendships, um, we saw a really strong friendship grow between uh, Ray and Finn in episode seven in The Force Awakens. So to see a friendship develop, um, possibly have trials, tribulations, all those sort of things that make them grow as characters. Um, and I'm hoping Ray and Poe get to meet. I, not in the sense that I want them to have a relationship, but I want them to meet. I want them to be a trio. I want to see those three have, um, have an adventure together in one way or another I think that'd be great um Luke who who isn't excited to see more Luke um and I hope we get to see him in nine as well um uh, the princess Leia thing that's a touchy subject at the moment and it's still it's 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 still that still sucks it really does um I trust that Lucasfilm Disney are gonna do the right thing with Leia um I know they will. Um, I don't really think the digital digital carry is the way to go. I think personally, I think I'd rather see a recast um, just to see how things go. Um, it'll be interesting. I know they're in good hands. They'll do the right thing. But yeah, those are just a few of my thoughts that are going through my head. So um, yeah, basically, what do you guys reckon? Like, what do you guys think about episode eight? What do you want to see in The Last Jedi? Um, yeah, drop some comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. Um, let's have a discussion. Get over on Facebook and uh, or Instagram and shoot me a message. Anything, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, always up for a bit of Star Wars chat. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's about it for today. I've got a couple of reviews um, recorded. I did another Lego set. But I might leave that until I've done a couple of figures. Um, the last Lego video I did didn't get a lot of hits. Um, not that that's a big deal. I enjoyed doing it. And uh, the people that have commented, I hopefully enjoyed watching it. 
um, the people that have watched it. I hope they enjoyed watching it. So it's not a big deal. Numbers don't don't phase me, but you know, it's cool. It's cool. Any more what more viewers means more interactivity, and that's that's what I'm after. So um, yeah, hope. <laughs> Coming back to the last Jedi quickly. Um, yeah, celebration. We're going to be there trying to get into that first hall. Um, we need to see a trailer, like a teaser. I'll take a teaser. Um, something to keep it going. Um, yeah, we're going to the Rebel Force Radio Bash the night before Celebration. So, Rebel Force Radio, you probably know they're one of the most popular Star Wars podcasts going around. And every Celebration, or well, the last couple of Celebrations, they've done a bit of a kickoff bash. So, we're heading out to that. That'll be cool. And from there, we'll probably go jump, jump straight in line and camp out the night until doors open for the first panel in the morning. Um, so hoping to see get some more details on that soon. Um, so we can plan that a bit better. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching as always. Um, like I said, drop some comments, let's, let's have a chat and yeah. Next video guys, may the force be with you. See ya.